So growing up, my parents did not like my first girlfriend. Um, she was older than me, and let's just say she lived life to the fullest. <laughs> so they were worried about, you know, her influence over me. They were worried about my reputation, and we got sat down and we had the discussion, and you probably had that discussion with your parents at one time or another, and you know, don't hang around those kids, you know, they'll take you down the bad path. And I learned my lesson, I think, growing up. Uh, after that, I think my only friends were nerds and church kids. But then, I think I learned the lesson too well because even now as an adult, I still don't have those types of friends. I still don't go to those places, I still don't hang around those people and I don't know what I'm worried about now. I'm, am I really worried about my reputation or how I'm influenced now? You know, I often think about, well, what would it be like if Jesus came in 2016? If Jesus came in 2016, would he go to church? I think he would. I think Jesus would go to church because the Bible shows us that Jesus was a Torah observant Jew. He observed Mosaic law. He observed the law. So he went to synagogue uh, on Sabbath. But I think Jesus would come to church on Sunday here in 2016, but then I think that the rest of the week, Monday to Saturday, I think Jesus would be out there earning a bad reputation. And Jesus talks about his reputation in Luke chapter 7. Uh, in Luke chapter 7, Jesus says, the Son of Man has come, eating and drinking, and you say, look at him, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Tell me something, how do you earn a reputation of being a glutton and a drunkard and a friend of sinners? By eating and drinking and hanging out with those people. The Bible shows us that Jesus clearly didn't care about his reputation. He clearly didn't care that people thought it was, you know, taboo to hang out with those kinds of people. Jesus did what he came to do. So now, looking at myself, 2016, a Christian, a Christ follower, maybe now the question I need to ask myself is, it's not, are those people going to be a bad influence on me, but am I going to be a good influence on them? Has God placed me here to do good for all people, not just the geeks and the church kids? You know, at Walden Church, we're still looking at Jesus in 3D, talking about putting on different glasses, seeing Jesus in a new perspective, seeing Jesus in a new way. This Sunday, we're talking about Jesus, a friend of sinners. It's gonna be very informative. We're gonna put some stories together that maybe haven't been put together before, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope to see you there.